To make the shoulder armor piece, I used the templates that I bought from Lost Wax. This guy's YouTube videos really are entertaining and helpful. And this bundle that he sells is a great value. After printing out the pattern and then cutting out all the EVA foam, it was time to glue. And this time after learning my mistake with the top hat, I decided to use something a little bit more toxic. I used the contact cement, but I used all the safety precautions that I could. I still use the hot glue gun for the non-structural parts and the little decorative pieces. All these steps here shown in the video in high speed are just basically me following the instructions on the Lost Wax tutorial that's on his YouTube site so I didn't feel the need to go slow and explain everything. You can go to his site to find exactly how it's supposed to be done. So at this point the main structure is complete and it's time to add some decoration. And what do you know, you guessed it, more templates, more cutting of tiny little parts. So at this point, with the thin foam, depends on what you buy, you could either hot glue it on, or you could buy the sticky back stuff like I did. So now I veered a little bit off the path of the YouTube tutorial of how to make this. And I started just looking around my house and my barn and I found some materials that I thought would, would make for nice, nice uh, accents on this piece. I found some rubber tubes, some plastic plumbing supplies, just little, little parts that I tried things to see what worked and came up with something pretty cool. Here's all the, the parts that are ready for paint. So first I added a coat of black paint to the entire shoulder piece. The paint that I'm using is just a basic and expensive acrylic paint. In some of my other cosplay costumes, I first primed the EVA foam with Plasti Dip. In this case, I wasn't very concerned about the adhesion of the paint because there's not a lot of flex in this, in this particular cosplay costume. Once again, the paints that I'm using is the Deco Art 
Americana decor metallics in three different colors using silver, vintage brass, and antique bronze. So my application technique for this is basically finger painting. I just dip my finger in, get a little bit of paint and rub it around, and then it, it, the paint does all the work. They look really nice, they look very metallic. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video. A special thanks to Chris from Lost Wax. His YouTube videos and his templates were, were very helpful in this process. And I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you decide to make one yourself, good luck. And if you have any suggestions for what I should make next, leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.